Hello, my name is Greg Villalobos and I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the Adventure Spec Mongolia Pant. So I'm going to go into quite a bit of detail about the Mongolia Pant, um, uh, give you some info about the, the, the tech details and also uh, tell you what you can expect when you're riding in it. But in a nutshell, the Mongolia Pant is a very tough and durable uh, trail slash adventure motorcycling pant. It's CEAA rated and is perfect for uh, long distance adventure motorcycling, uh, trans Euro trail, multi-day trips, or for trail riding, particularly in hot environments where you need your pants to be really, really tough um, and durable. Okay, so the Mongolia pant has some pretty impressive heritage. Um, there are two pants that we sell that are very similar. There's the Mongolia pant and the Atacama pant. And essentially they are exactly the same product, um, except the Mongolia pant is over the boot and the Atacama pant is in the boot. Um, and so the Atacama pant um, came first and that was developed for Lyndon Poskett to take on the Dakar Rally, I think in 2017, I think the first one. So Adventure worked with Lyndon um, to develop our clothing range um, back at the start of this whole clothing project. Um, and Lyndon um, helped develop the prototypes and the, uh, the aim and the ambition was always to create something that was bespoke to his needs to get him through the Dakar Rally um, in the Malimoto class, so that's self-supported. Obviously, uh, to get through that, you need something that's going to uh, perform and protect you in uh, the uh, rally stages, but also needs to work on the long road liaison sections, which are sometimes many hundreds of kilometers, um, which are just riding through the, the roads to get from bivouac to bivouac. So the requirements of Dakar um, clothing are quite high um, and they need to perform really well at uh, essentially an elite level. Um, and the Mongolia pant that uh, I'm talking to you about today is exactly the same as the gear that Linden wore, except it is over the boot. So it's not a case of there's a pro version and a consumer version. They are exactly the same product, same materials, same manufacturing. And so here's a photo of Lyndon um, doing his thing in the rally. And here's a photo of my friend Davey here in the studio. Um, and Davey's wearing the Mongolia jacket um, and the Mongolia pant. You can find out more about the Mongolia jacket on our website and in other films. And what Davey's wearing is exactly the same as uh, what Lyndon was wearing, obviously with the over the boot version, um, but the same manufacturing, same materials, same quality. Um, it's not pro and consumer versions they're both the same. Okay, so I kind of talk about the Mongolia pant as um, suitable for people that are looking for kind of extreme trails. Um, in some ways, that's just a little bit of a sexy way of me talking about them because if you want to potter along in non-extreme trail riding, that's absolutely fine, no judgment from me. Um, but if you are looking to kind of go out and exert yourself and you need your gear to kind of match your level of enthusiasm, um, and skill and kind of like attitude to getting stuck in, then uh, the Mongolia pant really is going to perform at that level. Um, so here we've got kind of Davy really giving it some on his 690 up a wet, muddy, boggy um, hill up here in Northumberland. We've got Will here on his CRF uh, 300L, uh, giving it a few beans going around the corner there. Adam in Spain earlier this year where it's been quite hot and dusty. Will on his 690 doing a bit of a river crossing over in Spain. This is Michael um, on a very wet uh, and wild uh, trip up in Northumberland over the hills. This is Pat over in Colorado in the States where it's very hot and dry. And Will on my PR7 um, getting a bit of a, a splash through um, going through the woods there. So the Mongolia Pan was really built for people that get stuck in with their trail riding. You're on the bike, you're off the bike, um, you're kind of uh, working on the bike possibly, um, you might be doing a bit of camping, um, and you need something that's kind of going to be really, really comfortable uh, and really tough. So the Mongolia Pant is CEAA rated. Um, here in Europe, if anyone wants to make and sell uh, equipment, clothing for motorcycling that includes riding on the road, um, that garment needs to be CE certified. And the certifications go from the highest, that is AAA, 
down to AA, A, B, C. And each of those ratings has a different level of safety that that garment will perform to. So this is uh, CE AA rated, which is high. So before we can sell you um, uh, an item of clothing for motorcycling, um, we need to submit it to an independent um, lab. And that lab puts that garment through a whole range of, uh, of tests. Um, they include abrasion tests. How does it perform when it's sliding down the road? Impact tests. Um, so how does the armor perform when, it, it, you, when it's subjected to certain impacts? Um, seam tear tests. Um, and a range of other kind of tests that essentially uh, give an indication of how that garment is expected to perform um, in certain circumstances if you were to come off the bike. Um, and this gives you, the consumer, the confidence to buy um, clothing that uh, A, has been tested, but also gives you the ability to make informed decisions about what level of protection that you are happy to ride in um, and make your buying decisions accordingly. So the Mongolia pant has um, a, a number of materials used in its construction, but there are three that I'm going to um, talk about. So the main fabric construction is a 1000D fabric. Um, this is a very, very tough, very strong. It's actually a waterproof fabric and it's very, very breathable. So um, the kind of the light and the dark gray areas are made of this tough material. Um, the pant itself is not fully waterproof. And the reason for that is that the seams are not taped and it also features um, some fabrics that are really kind of designed for breathability. So the pant um, is going to uh, perform very well in light rain showers, going through puddles, all that kind of stuff. But if it's absolutely hammering down with rain and you need waterproofing, you will need to put a waterproof layer over the top of that. The other significant um, material here is the Hypolon Dewpoint Kevlar heat resistant material. So the the black kind of rubberized looking material kind of on the inside of the knees and the lower legs um, they are there um, largely in place of leather so traditional uh, motorcycle adventure motorcycle pants use leather um, and the reason why they use leather is because it's tough and it doesn't burn on your exhaust which is great the problem with leather is that when you wash your pant the leather cracks and dries out and you need to pay a lot of attention into how you look after that leather. Um, we believe if you're an adventure motorcyclist, your clothing is probably going to get washed more than regular road riding gear. And in our experience, the leather is always the first thing to go that fails on those pants. So we've opted to use um, this Hypolon material. Um, it's quite light. Um, like I said, it's got a rubber texture to it. And the important thing there is that it's not going to burn when you put your leg against your hot exhaust. Um, also worth mentioning, if you are vegan and uh, having animal products uh, in your clothing is a problem for you, there are no uh, leather animal products in our pant. Final material to mention is the military spec um, low snag mesh. Um, and this is uh, used predominantly in our Mongolia jacket. It's a very, very tough uh, material. Um, and as the name suggests, it has a very, um, it's very hard to snag. We use these behind our zippered uh, vents and they really promote uh, a lot of airflow through the pant. Speaking of vents, um, you will notice that a key design feature on the Mongolia pant is a large uh, zipper, zippered vent that runs essentially from your waist down to the top of your knee. These are huge vents. Um, and when these are unzipped um, in hot conditions, and I've ridden in kind of high 20 degrees, um, maybe kind of low 30s um, in Spain um, and in certain parts of Europe, um, with these vents over, the airflow is huge. Um, it's kind of, I think, as bigger vent as you could possibly get. Um, as mentioned, behind those vents are the military spec um, uh, low snag material, which is highly abrasion resistant as well. So if you did come off with those vents open, you are still going to be protected. So this is Will up in Scotland and you can kind of see, it's pretty amazing for them to be open in Scotland, but must have been hot that day. Um, but yeah, you see his vents are open. Again, Will on his 690 getting pretty hot, going up a bit of a technical challenging um, climb out of a river if you're going to be generating your own heat and you need a bit of ventilation those zips are really helpful 
Will's getting a lot of feature in this film. So yeah, that's Will uh, taking a, a little five minute break um, in sunny Spain uh, under a bit of shade. We can see again, his vents are open there, um, helping him cool down. One other um, feature there that's relevant to the materials is you'll notice there's a quite a um, particular design in the crotch area. So in the crotch, there's a stretchy fabric and that's really designed um, to allow you to kind of lift your leg up and over uh, and swing your leg over your bike without kind of snagging or kind of restricting any, any movement. So um, there's essentially the pant um, promotes a lot of um, a lot of movement of the rider. I think that's the right way to put it. Um, so when you are fully loaded up and your bike has got panniers on the back and quite often a top um, a, a roll, uh, a, a, a um, a roll dry bag on the back uh, you can't really swing your leg over the bike like you would normally um, or if you're a shorter rider you might not be able to do that anyway like me um, and so you kind of have to step through the bike and sometimes if you're using pants that aren't very um, or don't promote a lot of movement or are a little bit restrictive that's actually quite a difficult thing to do um, and so with the Mongolia pant um, we specifically kind of thought about that and we've got these big stretchy panels in the crotch which allow kind of very unrestricted movement and swinging of your leg. Okay, big feature of the Mongolia pan, um, maybe one of the biggest features, maybe I should have started the film with this one, um, is the, um, the fact that it fits over huge motocross style boots. So if you know what I'm talking about, you will get it. If you don't, let me explain. Um, adventure motorcyclists use a variety of different kind of boots. Um, I personally wear City Adventure 2 boots, which are quite slim. Um, they don't have buckles up at the top, and you can actually get a pair of jeans over those, so it's no drama. However, a lot of people use boots with a lot more protection, typically motocross-style boots that are big, plastic, chunky, all the way up to your um, kind of just below your knee almost up your calf and they've got big buckles on them as well it can be very very difficult to find uh, a pair of pants that you can fit over the top of these um, the mongolia pant has got huge um, opening at the bottom so you will notice that there's a lot of velcro down the side there um, and there's a buckle at the bottom and what you can do is that when you put your pant on you uh, roll the bottom of the um, pant up, you put your boots on, and then you can close it over the, the top of that. And even with something like, I think Will's wearing Tech 7s here, um, you can get a really good closure. Two things to mention on that. The Velcro is the first point of closure. Um, however, we know that uh, in our experience of riding in wet and muddy conditions, Velcro fails. Um, if you just ride in hot, dusty environments, you've probably not experienced it. But if you've ride, uh, if you've ridden in um, uh, kind of northern European winter conditions, you will know that once that your Velcro is clogged up with mud, it fails, and sometimes it doesn't come back, no matter what you do when you wash it. Um, so, in addition to the Velcro closure, we've got a fit once buckle. The reason why it's called fit once is you um, uh, you adjust it once. And then once it's adjusted, you don't have to readjust it. You can just kind of snap it undone and, um, and snap it closed again. And what that allows you to do is the Velcro grabs the top of the closure and then the bottom at your ankle, you've got a buckle. Um, and really, no matter how much abuse that Velcro gets, you know you're going to be able to close your Mongolia pan around your ankle with that buckle. Um, it's a really good, simple system. The buckle breaks, you can replace it really easily. A few other points here, it's worth mentioning, we've got big pockets that are specifically designed for big mobile phones. So you can see here, if you look closely, you'll see a, a mobile phone size bulge sticking out of Will's tie. Um, uh, and again there, um, it's pretty handy for your wallet or whatever. The Mongolia pant comes with an integrated belt. That belt there um, goes around the waist, it's stitched in at the back. Really easy to um, adjust and keep your pants up. Um, 
they are actually designed so that if you're on a long expedition and you lose weight because you're exerting yourself and not getting enough calories you can very easily cinch the pants up um, and stop them from falling down how many people have the uh, luxury of losing weight on their trips is another matter um, me personally uh, i kind of go the other way and need to let it out a little bit so the Mongolia pan is uh, CEAA rated. Um, one of the reasons why it's got that rating is because it includes force field level two armor. Now, um, we know that some people, um, some of you might be riding without armor and choosing to use knee braces. Um, so the knee armor is removable and you will notice that the knee box area is very, um, well, it's quite relaxed. It's relaxed enough for you to be able to wear a pair of knee braces without feeling that the pant is restricted in any way. Um, if you are wearing no braces and you don't have any armor in the pant, you'll probably notice that the knee area is a little baggy. Um, so really they're designed to be used with the armor that's included or for you to be wearing your own knee braces underneath. So the Mongolia pant is designed to work with the rest of the adventure spec range. So here we have, um, uh, Davy um, in Spain and he's got the Mongolia pant on and the Mongolia trail jacket I'm just getting ready to zip it up and get going this is Will uh, riding with the Mongolia pant and the linesman jacket and underneath the linesman jacket he's got the uh, Adventure Specs super shirt on it's Will with, um, in Scotland again with the linesman jacket so this is Will up in Northumberland with the Mongolia pant and the uh, single track jacket um, that's the waterproof jacket over the top so this is Will on his 790 and he's got the Mongolia pant and the single track jacket over the top. You'll see, notice um, that the single track jacket has got uh, quite a low bum and that's kind of designed to keep the water uh, off your bum. So this is Michael in studio shot um, just showing uh, uh, how the single track jacket and the Mongolia pant work together. This is Michael uh, in sunny Northumberland uh, with the Mongolia pant on and over the top of that he's got, or on top of that he's got the trailhead jersey. And this is Will in Spain um, uh, flying his drone. He's having uh, taken some of his jackets off but you can see he's got the core base layer on um, and on top of that he's got the super shirt. Um, and if it was very hot um, Will would ride just in that or he'd put something like the single track uh, jacket over the top. Okay, so that's the Mongolia pant. Um, the Atacama pant film is gonna be very similar to this. Um, just gonna not have over the boot bottoms. Um, I hope it's given you all the info that you were looking for. If you're still after some more info, leave a message uh, at the bottom of this film um, in the comments and I will do my best to get back to you or the community might beat me to it. Um, if you want to find out more about Adventure Spec and keep up to date, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, and I'll just take a moment to tell you that I have an email newsletter that I put quite a lot of effort into and I'm quite proud of. So if you want me in little um, bite-sized bits every week, head over to our website and subscribe there. Thank you for your time. Ride safe. I will see you soon.